Anthony Kirkland is headed back to death row. A second jury came to the same conclusion as the first. The serial killer should die for his crimes. Local 12's Anjanette Levy was in the courtroom as the verdict was read. We therefore unanimously find that the sentence of death should be imposed upon Anthony Kirkland. Anthony Kirkland slightly nodded his head as he listened to Judge Dinkelocker read the jury's verdicts. Death for the rapes, robberies, and murders of teenagers Cherie Crawford and Esme Kenny. Anthony, do you have anything to say? Um, Call me was all Kirkland said as deputies led him out of the courtroom. Before jurors started deliberating, they heard the prosecution sum up how Kirkland preyed on innocent women and children, strangled them, and burned their bodies. And the second thing, even more preposterous, was this purification ritual. Now, he wasn't destroying evidence. He was purifying their bodies. And one question I would have there is, why did he pick these girls clean of any valuables before he purified them? Kirkland's attorneys argued his violent behavior stemmed from a childhood of physical and sexual abuse and brain damage. Here, the repeated chronic exposure to toxic stress actually changed Anthony's brain architecture, damaging those critical neural connections. But the prosecution said Kirkland's abuse claims weren't true. You've heard a lot of gobbledygook all week. Oh, his brain and all this other stuff. He knows what, he's a college graduate, okay? He's a serial killer. In the end, the jury was not swayed by Kirkland's pleas or his attorney's arguments. Anthony Kirkland's defense attorneys did not comment after the verdicts were read. He will be sentenced on August 28th. At the Hamilton County Courthouse, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. The resentencing involved a lot of very graphic testimony, and Judge Dinkelocker told jurors he can arrange counseling for them if they feel they need it.